The rapid spread of COVID-19 earlier this year led to unprecedented lockdowns and suspension of travels between countries. Activities in the tourism sector slowed down drastically as reflected by the decrease in the number of arrivals. International arrivals decreased by 75,1% during the first eight months, while regional arrivals decreased by 74,6%. However, with the opening of borders and the resumption of flights, some tourism activities have now commenced on a small scale. These developments are positive as they are likely to revive the tourism industry. However, the direction of COVID-19 pandemic in major tourist sources countries, mainly in Europe, will continue to weigh down on such a focus. The tourism sector created more than 45,000 direct employment opportunities before the outbreak of COVID-19. As part of support to the sector, the government and financial sector have introduced different methods such as employee protection schemes, debt relief and payment holidays. Nonetheless, this is not sufficient. However, given the scale of the challenges, there is a scope for targeted intervention to help cushion the sector from the impact of COVID-19. This is especially the case since the community conservancies and their important stakeholders such as community-based organizations are equally impacted by the loss of income and also the disruption to the key activities. There is therefore a need for collaborative efforts to assist the sectors to mitigate against reversing the gains recorded especially on a conservation front since the time of independence. 